Uhuru. Yeah, I want to thank the uh, Blacks and Back Coalition for Social Justice, Peace, and Reparations for taking on this campaign. Uh, so the Black is Back has uh, created an organization called Make Our Votes Count. And we have a slogan to make Black votes count. And part of the uh, inspiration for this was uh, the Michigan Democratic presidential primary where some Palestinians got together with 11 other organizations and they set a goal to change the policies of the Biden administration around the genocide of the Palestinian people. And their goal was to get 10,000 votes and those votes would uh, come through people voting uncommitted uh, on their ballot. And although they had a goal of 10,000 people, uh, President Marcella mentioned earlier, they actually got 110,000, 110,000 votes. They did 500,000 text messages, 500,000 calls through phone banking. They contacted more than a million voters uh, in this process. By the way, it was done in a matter of a week or so. So it was an amazing uh, thing that they pulled off. And you may have noticed that the Biden administration went from saying it should be a temporary ceasefire to an immediate ceasefire. That might not be a big move of the needle, but they're definitely having an impact uh, even on the international uh, struggle around the Palestinian people. So the chairman called me one day, Chairman O'Malley Stella, and he said, what, what do you think about uh, posing questions around the African community, not to disunite with the Palestinians, but make a demand like, the Palestinian, we, we want the genocide to end against the Palestinians and stop funding the settler colonial state of Israel and redirect those funds to pay for reparations to African people. That's that that was one of the things that he raised. And uh I thought it was a great idea to create an uncommitted voter campaign around African issues. And that was just one of the issues. So uh, hence, was born in a very quick manner, uh, the Make Our Votes Count campaign. Uh, so we're hoping to have our first press conference around the Pennsylvania primary next Thursday. Pennsylvania primary is April the 23rd. And when I say primary, I mean Democratic Party presidential primary. It'll be April 23rd, and we'll be asking people to vote uncommitted. Uh, but before I leave, I wanted to give you a couple of other of the issues that we want to raise for people to vote uncommitted about, that they will be uniting with as they vote uncommitted. By the way, every state doesn't have uncommitted or no preference on their ballot. So we're asking people to write it in. Write it in if it's not there. So... <clears throat> One, we want to drop the charges against the Uhuru Three. Yes, sir. Uh, that that is at the top of our agenda. Uh, we cannot allow the state to uh, frame up Chairman O'Malley and uh, Penny Hess and Jesse Neville, who've been fighting for the liberation of African people. Uh, the chairman has been in this fight for more than sixty years. Now, all of a sudden, they say it's the Russians that put him up to it. So we, we say we. We must demand dropping the charges against the Uhuru Three, stop the genocide of the Palestinian people, stop funding Israel, and redirect those funds to pay for reparations to African people, free Leonard Peltier and all political prisoners, end gentrification that's forcing African people out of our communities along with other colonized people, and creating white enclaves with luxury apartments and luxury condominiums all over this country. And we want to end the public policy of police containment in the African community and replace it with a public policy of economic development. So that, that's just some of the issues 
that we wanted to raise. And we believe that this is a campaign that can really increase what the chairman says, the agency of African people. It will really increase the, the number of people that we're in touch with, thousands of people who never been in a demonstration in their life would now have the opportunity to join forces along with the African community to make these demands on behalf of the African community through voting uncommitted. And they don't have to get in a picket line. All they gotta do is what they've been doing, voting. So <clears throat> we wanna really uh, ask people to, if you know people in Pennsylvania, hey, call them up, tell them to vote uncommitted. But we believe this can be a, a really great campaign. If you wanna volunteer, uh, you can call us at 727-506-0012, or you can email us at makeourvotescount at gmail.com. We also have a website, makeblackvotescount.com backslash now. Make our make black votes count backslash now. So we really want people to get on board. We need people to do phone banking, uh, sending out text messages, raising resources, but we think it's going to be a great campaign to increase the, the influence, the number of people for recruitment into the Black is Back. We think it's going to be a great campaign. So uh, again, I want to appreciate the Black is Back uh, for inviting me up to speak. I think it's going to be a great campaign. Tomorrow I'll be doing a, a presentation, PowerPoint, and you'll see more of the details of the campaign and, and what you can do. Uhuru. Uhuru.